Just moments ago in my Marcus Simeon to the Blue Jays video, I said Angel Ten Simmons is currently in agreements with the Minnesota Twins and will probably sign later tonight or in the morning. I was planning to make a video on it tomorrow because I'm super tired right now and he's probably going to sign while I'm sleeping. And surely enough, Angel Ten Simmons signs with the Minnesota Twins. He signed a one-year $10.5 million deal. Now this is a very good signing by the Minnesota Twins. Angleton Simmons is a very good shortstop. He's no more defensively than less offensively. He kind of struggles with the bat. But on the other side of the field, playing shortstop, he is a beast. Multiple time gold glove award winner. Has a can of an arm. He can throw any he can throw from left field to first. I'm sure he can throw from the stands. Now, he's like I said, not very good offensively. He, he's never really been that way. He doesn't hit many home runs. He has a decent batting average and drives in a few runs and gets on base. But not, like I said, not known for the bat. Now, 2020, a down year for him. He's getting, I mean, he's getting up there in age. He's like 34, 35 years old, I think. But in 2019, he had a very, very good season. Just came off a um, gold glove uh, uh, season and finished 15th in the MVP voting. In 424 plate appearances, he had 105 hits, 19 doubles, 0 triples, 7 home runs, 40 RBIs, 10 stolen bases, and a batting average of 264, an OPS of 673, and an OPS plus 78. Now that means he is below average hitting. Because OPS, the average is 100. He's at 78. So I think that means he's 78% worse than most hitters, than the average hitter. But you could see that he has speed. It makes sense if he's a good defensive shortstop that he'll have speed. He stole some bases, and he got quite a few doubles. So very, very good signing by the Twins, except one problem. Jorge Polanco. Jorge Polanco plays shortstop. So now you have two very good shortstops. I think what they'll do is move Jorge Polanco maybe to second base, or if they don't re-sign Nelson Cruz, they might make him a DH. But I think he's going to be playing second base because the Twins don't really have anybody over there. They kind of switch out players a lot, and they don't have really anybody good at second base. So, yeah, I think Jorge Polanco will play second, and Angleton Simmons will play shortstop. So, yeah, very good signing, like I said. Uh, it's a one-year $10.5 million deal. I was thinking, like I said, I was thinking $14 million. So, yeah, that's about it for today's video. Uh, there's still a lot of rumors, like Trevor Bauer could be going to the Mets. Chris Bryant could be going to the Mets. Um, the Blue Jays and the Mets recently have had their name attached to a lot of players. Like, all these rumors, you're seeing, you're seeing the Blue Jays. He could be going to the Blue Jays rumors. Uh... This guy could be going to the Mets rumors. So, yeah. It's kind of hard to predict at you right now where all these players will be going since there's like three or four teams that are attached to everybody's name and then a player will go out and sign for a, a complete opposite team. So, yeah, that will do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video and turn on notifications. We have more videos coming out on the dugout because the dugout is a new series that I have on my channel where I talk about signings and trades and trade rumors and a bunch of other baseball news. So make sure to subscribe. And until then, peace out.